Anamus is a one-of-a-kind and much-needed alternative to the deterioration of mainstream media. It's a community-governed decentralized news protocol for users from all around the world. It's built by a team of crypto professionals and backed by well-known names in the blockchain space. And before we begin, for transparency as always, just know that this is a sponsored video and I'd like to thank the team at Anonymous for doing so. Also, this is done for educational and exposure purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. The main problem Anonymous are trying to target is the censoring of the free flow of information. As we know, it's no longer unusual to limit free speech and prevent individuals from accessing social media platforms. People can't trust the news anymore as they're mostly supporting one viewpoint of ideology. Also the hidden agendas with the global and local news events. Now let's talk about how Anonymous works and what they have to bring to the table. Anonymous is a decentralized news protocol for the world. It's created to make news reporting fair, unbiased and balanced again. It aims to create a medium where publishers can preserve their work in blockchains where it will become permanently recorded and available worldwide while protecting the publisher's intellectual properties rights and ownership. The system will reward publishers, auditors, fact checkers and readers for participation in various ways. Publishers have a way to create and monetize their content without censorship or any restrictions. Governed by the community and preserved for generations to come using blockchain and permaweb technology. All Anonymous users have the ability to become fact checkers. By becoming fact checkers, users will earn Anom tokens. Anonymous will utilize gamification badges and reputation to establish a self governed community that will monitor itself. Each user's participation will affect his or her reputation and badges. Some of the features are that it's censorship free. It, it encourages free speech, also autonomous, community govern, it's a community governed platform. There's a reward system for publishers, fact checkers and readers and also content preservation through blockchain and perma web technology. They've also created a table as to why they're better than the general news channels or news websites. What are the benefits for the readers though? Well, you can consume the content, comment, rate and follow. You can also donate and support quality content, which is great for those that created the content. You can also play your part in news, decentralization and finally, you can stay anonymous or you can come forward. It's up to you. Now that you understand what Anonymous are trying to achieve, let's talk about their upcoming IDO, Initial Decentralized Exchange Offering, which is due to take place on the 26th of November on a launchpad called Starter XYZ. Now they're due to begin at 9 a.m. UTC on Starter.xyz, but they'll also run two more IDOs on Synapse Network at 12 p.m. UTC and on ScaleSwap at 4 p.m. UTC. These IDOs will be held on Binance Smart Chain, so you don't have to worry about the high fees like on Ethereum. The soft cap will be $60,000 and the hard cap $120,000. The IDO price will be 0.003 cents, so that's a third of a cent, and the listing price will be the same. Anyone who will contribute to the IDO will get 34% of their tokens at TG, then 34% of the first month and finally 32% on the second month to complete the full distribution. The listing will happen on PancakeSwap. Also, if you want to know how to take part, you will need to purchase start tokens on starter.xyz or you could bridge start if you already have them by using any swap. Then you need to stake start on starter.xyz, complete the KYC listing and simply purchase anom tokens when the IDO starts. There are also special conditions, for example, if you stay between 50 and 499 start tokens, you will get in on the first come first served round basis. Now if you stake 500 or more, you will get a guaranteed allocation and ultimately the more start is staked, the bigger the allocation. Now to discuss the tokenomics, 23% of the total supply were allocated to the private round, 20% of those will be unlocked at TG with 5% monthly unlocks, the public round gets 3% of the total supply, followed by 15% allocated to liquidity, then the fund for adoption incentives will not be unlocked at TG but will get 10% after one week followed by 4% for 21 months. And the team doesn't get any unlocks at TG either. They will get 10% starting from month 14. So they're not getting any unlocks for one year and two months, which is pretty good. Advisors and development also don't get anything at TG. So that's the info we have on the tokenomics. But of course, if you check out their website, you can get more information. Now for the team behind Anonymous, unfortunately, the team are anonymous as we are expecting it, right? It should come as no surprise because of the name and the intention of this project. All we've got are the first names, 
And we can see Justin being the CEO with over 10 years of experience working with IT enterprises and startups. He's a blockchain maximalist with a keen interest in innovation technology. Of course, you can read about the rest of the team as well, which can be found on the website. Now to talk about Anomus's roadmap, they've got the IDO, which we've discussed earlier, followed by the alpha release, a governance NFT sale and the perma web integration in this quarter. For Q1 of 2022, there's the beta release, user incentive program and more. The final release is due to happen in Q2 of 2022 with the DAO structure and phase 2 likely in Q3 of next year. We can also see the investors behind Anonymous, Pulse Venture, Halving Capital as well as Starter XYZ where they'll hold the IDO together with Synapse Network and a number of others. And to give you my final thoughts on this, they do have a good shot at doing well now that the DAOs are gaining more power and the communities are growing all around the blockchain space and doing what they want to do is definitely something required to bring light to the fake news out there. And while they may not have enough power to stop them completely, they'll at least be able to shed some light on what's legit and what's not. That's been it from today's video. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.